that's not the signal. I mean, for he foul. wouldn't signal a pulled shirt from from distances anyway. I mean, he'd do well to see it, and the referee had a much better view. So that for me is offside, and it's a poor decision because I said it was a, a Chelsea person that passed the ball through. It's almost as good as a goal. Wolves have had chalked off there. Chelsea get away with one. Well, they've already done better than they did in the reverse fixture. It was one nil Wolves after 27 seconds in October. Brilliant ball from Mkekwa to Lalkovic. Oh, no. Flags up, but it didn't look like that was offside either. Inside there, I mean, it's a great ball from Josh, great vision. I mean, I'd like to see this again, because for me, his time has run extremely well. There's the movement. You can see him on that far side, and there he goes there. Well, that's, that's, that's as tight as tight can be, and that, for me, is a poor decision. The advantage for the last two Chelsea's chances have come through movement from the front two. Adam Phillip involved on that occasion, great ball from Josh, and that's what we need. We need to disrupt that back four there, and our movement's been very good early in this game. What a pass that was from McEachern. Phillips taken that one very nicely indeed. Adam Phillips squares it, looking for a flag this time, and there isn't one. George Savile, just his second reserve start. First touch from Adam Phillips, there he is there, it's a great ball. The ball falls to Adam Phillips here, concentration was the key, the centre-half doesn't get it, slides a great ball in invitingly, that looks a little bit iffy as well, but George has got in there, simple tapping for him and a great way to start the game. away from that pressure as if it wasn't there and then Great another ball. wonderful pass for Todd Kane who's galloping up Adam Phillips in the middle and the slide was a bit late well that all started with the artistry of Josh McEachern great ball there not quite sure he was aiming it for because Milan made a great run and uh, Toddy Kane got on the end of it and he slid a great ball through to Adam Phillips just what half a yard in front of him for me there I think he's got to really sort of go to the ground and really do your best to, to break your neck to get on the end of it but whatever happens just slid past him Team. I think he's been superb in certain games this year. Again, Arsenal at home comes to mind. Scored two here that night. It's a menace. Nice return ball. Bertrand's kept it in. Couple to aim at. Oh. This is Adam Phillip. That could go anywhere. Look how that was from Ryan Bertrand. He didn't have a lot to aim at, but in Telly Phillip, who's tried to side foot it, he's not caught it very well, but even then, he looked like he was going to fall to a, a Chelsea strike. You see, he just tried to side foot it, but goes into an area which is in between Milan and uh, I think it's George going in there as well. So, uh, Connor Clifford, and uh, you know, just fall between two stalls there. Very He came short again, he's kept hold of it well. Gokhan Torre, really impressive 20 minutes from Chelsea. This. And another nice pass, this time it's Laukovic. Bertrand's in the middle. Oh, it's a great ball. And so's Todd Kane. What a cr... The little P, you're not allowed to mention him again. <laughs> Sick of the sight of Javier Hernandez. Here's Ryan Bertrand. McEachern. Turns into some space and the pass sets Laukovic off and in any 50-50 sprint race he will win and he's kept right. it in brilliantly. But I think it's been a success, that's for sure. Here's Adam Phillip, good hit as well! Oh dear, Aaron McCary's let it through his hands there. It's a Gomez moment <laughs> and Chelsea lead by two goals to nil. Well, there's no doubt if that one went over the line and the system didn't have a decision to make. That's shocking goalkeeping from the young man. I have to say, to his credit, Alan Phillip gets this on target, but there's no way when he's hit this he expects this to end up in the back of the net. Laps of concentration from the keeper, 2-0. That befits our superiority, I have to say, because we've been much, much a better side. Decent on the ball and looks as though he's OK. And it's, a, it's a good battle between him and uh, Gokhan. No flag against Laukovic this time. They're not going to enjoy these races tonight. Laukovic trying to make the room. Instead, it's a pass, but it's not Finish. a good one. Philip again, and oh. not far away. Agnew still sporting a, a bit of a bandage. He had a whole thing wrapped round his head Thursday night at Man City. Then he got a fat lip as well. Laukovic eased out of it by Ethan Ebank. Said his movement today has been key in our success so far. Two goals to the good, and looking good for one more game. Of course, if Chelsea don't oh. win this, they won't have another one. This is Bertrand. How's the pullback? It's good, and so is the save from Aaron McCary. Malkovich denied again, not by a flag this time, but what by a good save. What a turn this is, though, from Adam Phillip. It's a great little turn. Defender goes all over the place, and he toes it away. Again, he picks out a great pass. Maybe just, what, six inches too far in front of Milan. He can't get enough purchase on the ball. And it's a comfortable save, I have to say. Inside the against the first time cross. It looked like it was on, but... Bertrand's kept hold of it. Now Torre has company. 
Bertram will cross oh, wow. now, and it's another brilliant one. And what again, ball. Ashley Hemmings is in there, this time to deny Adam Phillip. Well, Crockham's fed up with not getting any joy over there on the uh, right-hand side, so he's come over on the left, joined in there with Ryan Bertram. Great little ball back, set back to him, and what a great ball, great pace on it. Coming into the far post, you think, Adam? That was telegraphed easily by Bertrand, who looks like he's well in command out there, everything he does. McEachran likewise. A oh, lovely oh. pass. Again, that's got to be tight as Phillips scoops it beautifully into the back of the net. Must have been close, Tommy, that one. Quicker here. Milan has a touch there, and he just takes it away. In fact, in fact, he doesn't have a touch. He stutters to have a touch and just lets it drift away. The angle then favours the keeper, hits him on the foot. For me, he just hit it, should hit it there. That, and Back to McEachran. He gets it back and hits it really well. He doesn't score a lot of goals, Josh McEachran. Hardly ever, in fact. That wasn't far off, though. Again, it's great little one-two. I think it's Adam Phillip just knocks the ball into him, plays it back into the area. Josh, great concentration. That is not a million mile away. It's a fantastic strike. Again, if you're going to be ultra-critical, should hit the target. It's the amount of times the Wolves' rear guard have been running back towards their own goal. And they're doing it again here. Kokan Torre. Philip is in the middle. So's Laukovic. So Savile. Finish. Torre might not need any of them. Laukovic, is it going to be fifth time lucky? Oh. No, it's not. Denied again. Just gets back and, and nips it over the bar there. Gokan superb driving at defenders. Good ball, good intelligent ball. There he is creating that half a yard. And I think it's the midfield player, is it? Rooney, the captain, who gets back and reflect the game, Ben. And that's what, you know, sometimes you've got to punish teams when you're in, so far in front of them technically. And the way we're passing the ball around, our movement has been great all over the pitch. I've said about the front three, but the midfield as well, really, really good movement. It's Connor Clifford making a run forward. We're so far better than these, but obviously only two goals doesn't really reflect it. And if we do get a game of two halves and Wolves get one back in the second half, it could suddenly be very different. Chelsea love to strike again while the iron is hot before Vich can find Philip in the middle. Or instead pick oh. out Savile, it was just a bit on the thing that was good about Chelsea on the night. A fourth reserve goal of the season for Gokan Torre and a lot of players looking good ahead of that final that we you know and, and hasn't really featured. So you'd have to think maybe he'll be uh, excess and uh, give one of the younger boys a chance. Torre slides away from the challenge from Lee Griffiths, who's stuck a few of them in tonight, actually. Wolves is number nine, but Torre rides it well and then finds Bertram brilliantly. Out of oh. in the middle. Right, Bertram went for goal and wasn't far out. Well, I think the keeper's actually touched this. Ryan's appealing for it. Adam Chokken, sorry, just plays a great ball out here. Great first touch, puts in his path. I think he's going to bend this in, but no, he decides to have a strike. The keeper is always going wide, but I think the keeper touches it. He did indeed. Chelsea have a corner, it certainly was heading for the side netting, but McCarrick to Magnate. Bertrand again, who have a decision to make, I think, this summer, Ryan Bertrand. Callas into Clifford, man on is the call, and Clifford just about hangs onto it with Anthony Ford right up and out. Great move, Josh McCarrick in fully 60 yards, great run from Ryan Bertrand, the captain, cuts inside the defender, plays a decent ball in there as well, but unfortunately Adam just there, his touch is good, and there the defender just gets enough on it. It comes off his either Sturridge, McEachran, Bertrands of this world. Given three or four games in a row in the first team and then judge them rather than a little cameo here and there or a Carling Cup game. Back on that in a minute. Another attack here. Lalkovic and Torre again. Chelsea looking good. Torre oh. looking good. <laughs> what do you the young man, Ashley Emmons, has had a really good uh, first half and start a second, but on that occasion, he was sold down the King's Road by a fantastic dummy from Gok and Torrey. Look at this step over here. He has him going all over the place there, and unfortunately, the shot didn't match the trick, and it was a great trick to create the half a yard. He's just got to then relax. And you know, when I watch you know, top teams, and, and I'm talking about Man United yesterday against us and Barcelona recently against Real Madrid, they were back uh, up the pitch. Chance for Georgia. If they Saville into Torre. Torre goes for the right boot again, cuts it back well. It's across everybody in the six yard. Bertrand, Mancien and Bertrand both been a captain for Stuart Pearce during the course of the last couple of years. It's lovely to see us. Get the cross right. No, he scored his goal with his weaker foot, but on that occasion, the cross it. Uh, 
Oh, well done, Michael Woods there. Great. A nice control play there, but Josh just under hit the pass there and possession's lost. But, you know, we really... This, that looks like it's a... Uh, not offside, no. I thought he was offside there, Malay. Apparently Finish. not. This is Torre. It's a great shot. So oh. it opened up for him and he didn't take the opportunity and he knows. Oh, the back four have been superb. Not been tested a lot, but what they've done, they've done very effectively. His outfield players back there. Here's McEachran. As we approach the final five minutes of the 90. Look at the running Todd Kane's putting in here. Can he get on the end of that pass? Oh, Kekrin again. Lovely pass into Connor Clifford. Clifford goes for goal himself. Needed a little bit more than that. Sheik wants to stay clean, and Aziz Dean Conte does his bit second time around. But there isn't time for the corner. The whistle has gone. A brilliant performance from back around for Steve Holland because he is going to be managing his side once more. It's going to be here at Stamford Bridge, Tommy Langley in the reserve final against Manuel Blackburn. And they were absolutely fantastic tonight. Yeah, congratulations to Steve Holland and his troops. We absolutely superb. They went out with a great attitude, got played some fantastic stuff and uh, really led from the front. And uh, well done, boys, and, and good luck next Monday night, whoever you face.